When you're using the Motul Slacker, you want to understand where you are numerically front and rear. So if you're on the road, generally, you're looking for a flat bike. So sag numbers front and rear should be somewhere in the region of 30 to 40 millimeters. That's quite generous because roads historically and generally are bumpy. You need compliance. So running bigger numbers makes the bike absorb bumps better and leaves you in the seat longer without being bounced and bumped around. Obviously, manhole covers, potholes, sharp edge bumps, we try and avoid those the best we can, but you're always gonna run into what we call high speed bumps. So, a little more plushness means that it'll go through the stroke, but it won't bottom. So that'll always give you a good experience on your motorcycle. If you are sporty, aggressive using your motorcycle, then you would look at 30 to 35 in the front and between 25 to 35 in the rear because you're cornering. Cornering forces compress suspension more. Depending on your riding style that you've developed over the years based on the way you physically ride the bike, some ride the front harder. So your sag numbers may be small in the front and big in the rear, or reverse, depending on what background you've come from. If you came from dirt, the back of the bike needs to be tight because the back of the bike is everything. The front wheel just gets you to the next corner. So if you are relatively aggressive, you have to start thinking about your style. Do you need the front tighter than the rear, 25 to 35? 30 to 35. What do you want? If you're balanced and smooth through the corners, then you can run 30 to 35 front and rear. But if you're pounding the front, at, excuse me, if you're hammering the rear with the throttle, then the back needs to be tighter than the front. So then you're looking 25, 30, 30 to 40. So take a minute. Before you use the tool, think of the numbers you are looking to start with. And that's the priority here, looking to start with, because where you go is where you go because it's your bike and the way you ride it. Now on the track, there's some very specific parameters. We're going way faster. Our velocity is significantly higher, 120, 140, 170 miles an hour, and then we have to stop the bike. Our cornering forces are way faster through corners than they are on the road, because we're all going the same way and the surface is better and the tires we use have more grip. So at that point, we need to go tighter again. So the front will be 25 to 35. The rear will be 25 to 35. Now the same variance will apply. A huge, powerful 1,000cc bike, you will need tight numbers front and rear. A 600 that has less horsepower can be slightly softer. A 300, or a 450 cripple triple with 40 to 70 horsepower can be even softer. So think about what you use in terms of your motorcycle. Think about the pace you're running in terms of sag that you need to initially set up. And then think about how you brake and how you corner with your motorcycle to refine those sag numbers with Motul.